I want to thank the Society for the opportunity to uh, come here from Houston to present to you a study that was done in my office uh, with the uh, people in practice in my office. I'm from Houston. My name is uh, Paul Fortes. I've been in practice for 12 years. I want to dedicate this presentation to uh, Dr. Amaru Ruiz Rasura, who was the person that was instrumental in starting this study, and unfortunately, through an illness, he passed away about two years ago, and I have continued in his steps. Uh, I have no uh, monetary uh, compensation from any company. I would like to say that the Marina Group donated 50 garments to this study, and that was their only contribution. We pose the question, is there scientific evidence that patients are obtaining better results with compression garments? And if so, why? And with which type of garments? Well, the concept of using compression for treating illnesses and disease and injuries is a very ancient one that goes back to ancient Egypt and has continued to the present day. In the field of plastic surgery, we owe a lot, specifically in the area of liposuction, we owe a lot to the pioneering work of uh, Dr. Gerard Elouz from France, who I think uh, deserves credit for developing the technique that we use today to do liposuction. He also did early studies evaluating the use of compression after liposuction, and he used many different techniques. This was uh, plastic surgery and liposuction during its infancy. He did do a study that was very important. I think it's a seminal study in that he followed his patients and measured pressures that uh, were being obtained with compression. And he followed these patients throughout the course of their recovery and found that pressures of garment under 18 millimeters of mercury were completely inadequate and yielded poor results with liposuction. And pressures above 22 were too much and yielded complications or a higher level of complications including thrombosis of the veins of the legs. So that 18 to 22 millimeter very narrow range of pressure he found to be the best uh, pressure range to get the best results. He also followed patients and found that in the first two weeks that there's a gradual increase in swelling followed by an ongoing decrease in swelling following liposuction. So that the period in which patients uh, ideally benefit from wearing garments was up to four to six weeks. Now back then, the garments that were being used were developed in the 60s with uh, fabric technology that had existed in the 30s and 50s. And you can imagine having a patient wear a compression garment day and night for four to six weeks. It's a lot to demand for a patient, especially a garment that doesn't feel comfortable. So Dr. Ruiz made a, a very important statement. He said the compression garment comfort is important because comfort is directly related to the wearability of the garment, or in the case of medical garments, of compliance. The traditional garments that had been used and were developed in the 60s were all uh, power net type of garments. Power net is one of the original garments and up to this day has continued to be the standard garment that's used throughout many manufacturers worldwide. But there's a new gar garment made of uh, new fabrics that have been developed in the last 10 to 15 years. The fabric uh, is called Comfort Weave and it's been developed under uh, the company Marina Corporation. They're both made of similar materials, yarn of nylon and yarn of spandex. And these are the <clears throat> two original compression fabrics that were being developed um, as early as 1935. But you can see, if we look at these, um, these two fabrics close up, that the power net is actually a very open lattice and comfort weave is much denser 
It's made of uh, much superior materials that were developed uh, in the 1990s. And these are what the fabrics look like, or what the garments look like. As you can see, that uh, the standards uh, that are being used uh, are PowerNet fabrics, and many companies, including Design Veronique, Mentor, uh, Jobst, Nouvelle, etc., are using the same fabrics that were developed in the 1960s. And Comfort Weave is uh, right now only being marketed by the developers Marina Group. <clears throat> well, I think a lot of our practice is liposuction and we certainly hope to offer for our patients the best experience in their recovery. <clears throat> so we were interested in comparing the, these two garments based upon the patient's uh, experience after surgery. So we asked ourselves, are there differences in how patients perceive the comfort and wearability of compression garments after liposuction? How important is the type of fabric used? And do different garments result in different levels of patient compliance?